Uh, hey Nathan. What are we doing for the intro on the Friday the 13th episode? Uh, I don't know. How about this? Okay. Hi guys, my name's Evan, I'm with Ridge TV, and today we'll be doing a game show in which students and teachers will compete against each other, and the whole goal of the game is to not laugh. We have created a series of jokes um, put in script form, written by four-year-olds, and each player of the game will have to tell the jokes and look at each other without laughing. Each time one party laughs, they'll lose a point. The goal of the game is to have as few uh, laughing points as possible, and that is all. We will now commence with the games. Why did a man climb the Eiffel Tower? Why? His butt was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna do so bad. Okay. Why did the cow go to the movies? Because movies. <laughs> All right. One nothing. Yep. What do you call a snail with no shell? A slug. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That's good. <laughs> My name is Deb Alexander, but students call me Mrs. A or Mrs. Alexander. And I'm the secretary for student testing. I work with PSAT, with CMAS, and then I'm the AP coordinator for Fossil. I prepare the materials, make sure that the tables are ready, pencils are sharpened and cleaned, and the students have everything they need in order to test. Every part of it that I do for testing is my favorite part. Every part of it that I do to help the administrative staff is my favorite. I mean, I just really like what I do here. My most recent accomplishment that I'm really proud of is that I have written and published a children's book. It's based on a story that my grandmother told me a long time ago, and my grandchildren are in it as the characters. So now I'm working on the sequel because I have other grandchildren, <laughs> and I don't want them to be left out. Right now I have a project uh, in the past year that I've been working on. I sew blankets and knit afghans for the veterans in the hospice unit at the Cheyenne Veterans Hospital. And it, to me it's an important thing. My husband goes up there frequently and I often go with him. And someone, while I was waiting for him to get finished with an appointment, pointed out to me these beautiful quilts and I commented on them and she said, let me tell you about this. When a veteran is in hospice, their family picks out a quilt or a blanket for them. And in hospice, sadly, you don't walk out of hospice. So they use this blanket to cover the gurney and everyone in the hallway stands up and gives a final salute. So it's like something then that the family keeps. Yeah, it touched my heart. So it was one of those things that I felt was important for me to do. Uh, how do you make a Kleenex dance? How? You put a little boogie in it. You know what, what, what do you call a dinosaur with no eyes? What? Shut up! <laughs> that, that's the joke. <laughs> um... Over the years, senior photos have evolved, from an average photo with any old camera into the most beautiful image available. Unfortunately, senior photos usually have a pretty hefty price tag attached to them, but not to worry, Photo Club is here to help. If you schedule an appointment with them, they will take your senior photos for free anywhere on campus. Additionally, all grades are welcome to come learn more about photography by joining Photo Club in room 202 from 3 to 4 p.m. on Thursdays. Seniors, please listen up. This is how you turn your senior pictures in on the school website. First off, you need to go to the FRHS website. Then scroll down to Sabercat News Central. Go to the fourth link down in that section and it'll say Senior Picture Submissions. Go to that and click on the Jostens link. It'll take you to a new tab. 
Choose the folder you have your pictures in. If you select more than one, then the yearbook staff will pick the best one. Select the picture or pictures you want and click open. Fill out your information as prompted. You can put your personal email in if you want. You are not required to buy a yearbook when submitting senior pictures. Check the box that you've read the terms and service, then upload your pictures. These need to be turned in by October 31st, so get them in before then. Come up with senior quotes soon, as they will be turned in through your advisory. What do you call a fish with no legs? A salamander. No, uh, those, have, those have legs. Why do old people like use a walking stick? <laughs> I don't know. Because they like collecting sticks. Why did the Skittle go bowling? Why? Because he is part of bowling. Ah. Uh <laughs>